All righty. Time for another edition of Science Sunday, joined by Aoife Ryle, of course, from the Connecticut Science Center. Hello, happy Father's Day. Yes, it is Father's Day, and you kind of have a, a sports-themed Science Sunday because a lot of dads are into sports. They're yeah. coaching, they play, they're doing yeah. some of their kids. Yeah, and it kind of comes at a nice warm time of the year, so Absolutely. we figured why not do some sports. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk about a big component of sports, which is the balls that we use to play them. Okay. Talk about how they bounce and how the physics of that works. So we got a whole bunch of different balls here, um, and they all, if we just drop them, if you want to try with that one, yep. they're going to come back up and amount, right? Um, so as we're dropping them, they're coming down to the floor with a force, yep. um, and the floor is going to exert an equal and opposite force back up on that floor or up on the ball when they collide. Uh, but because the ball is has a much lower mass, it's got a lower inertia than the floor. It's a little bit easier to move than the floor. Uh, that energy is gonna get transferred into the ball and it comes right back up at us. All right. So because that ball, that floor is much bigger, much harder, has more inertia, the energy transfers into the ball. And force plays a role. Because force like if we just like drop it, it may only go so high, but if yeah. you more forcefully. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Force equals mass times acceleration. So if we increase the acceleration, we got more force. So in all the sports, yeah. science everywhere. Absolutely. Of course. So now we're going to kind of up it a little bit. All right. Uh, this is the part I'm really bad at because I have no coordination. But we're going to try to see what happens when we stack two balls on top of each other and then drop them. Dro you're just, we're not dropping them with force, just nope. naturally letting them go. We're all just right, going to so, naturally so drop them. So first, a soccer ball with a tennis ball. Soccer ball with a tennis ball. All right. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. All right. You want to try one? Sure. So I've got the volleyball with a tennis ball. Oh, there it goes. Excellent. So you see the tennis ball is bouncing up much Whoa. higher. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'm going to knock something off. Much higher than it started oh. and much higher than before. So I'm going to try to drop the ball from a... Kind of hit me. <laughs> so as we're dropping these balls down together, uh, the basketball is going to hit the floor and start coming back up. It's meeting that tennis ball. Mm -hmm. And our tennis ball has a lower inertia than our basketball. So all that energy is getting transferred into the tennis ball. So even though it seems like the tennis ball is going way higher, we're not creating any energy. We're just transferring it. Okay. We can't create energy. So this might be a fun one awesome. to try with dad. And what about two tennis balls? Try two tennis balls? Absolutely. Oh, I mean, this normally we've been putting yes. the, the, the larger ball on bottom. So yeah. this, this may be difficult to do. Well, yeah, yeah, it doesn't work quite as well. It, actually, it works better centered, with yeah. something on the bottom with a bigger mass yep. that's got a higher uh, inertia. Uh, so we actually have a little toy that works on this principle too. It's four balls stacked on top of each other. And so I'm going to drop that on the table. All right. And I want you to watch what happens to the top And, and one. you're only dropping it from maybe a foot, right? This yeah, isn't we're a not huge... drop it very All right, high. gotcha. All right. Ooh. And the top ball rocketed off the top. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So the, the, iner or the other three are going to transfer their energy into that top one. And so that's the only one that moves. If you've heard of a Galilean cannon, Ooh. there it goes. There it goes. That works in the same way. So now, in theory, if mm -hmm. we only have these three yeah, and we drop, out. then the top one here should also go. Absolutely. This one's got, it's got a little, um, oh, it's got the, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So, so it's kind of in your It's way. hard to tell, but there's actually a little <laughs> there's piece a little here. Lip that, there. Yeah. All right. Well, it's tricky. in theory. In theory. It, yeah. In theory, we could have gone all the way down and they would have kept yeah. piling up. Yeah. But this is a good one. Try it out. Try all the different balls you have, see what works, see what doesn't work. Uh, this is kind of a fun one to spend an afternoon doing. Yeah, and it's something you can do at home because you probably have at least a couple of these. Yeah, absolutely. Home. All right, and we should let everyone know about what's happening at the Science Center with regard mm -hmm. to summer camps. Yes, uh, our summer camps are coming up soon, so you can go online and register. Uh, we have a regular summer camp for kids age 6 through 12, and then we also have trailblazers for kids entering 7th grade through ninth grade. All right, and are these camps that are day camps or are these week-long camps? These are week-long, so it's Monday through Friday, right. and we have six weeks total that you can uh, sign up for and pick from. All right, awesome. So just go to the Science Center's webpage. Yes, awesome. yeah, absolutely. All right, Eva, thank you so much, and of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.